What's up guys, it's Larry from Huts. So today, I have you guys Xbox 360 controller. Uh, we're gonna learn how to uh, control your Windows operating system uh, with this Xbox 360 controller. Um, you're gonna need the controller, of course. The battery pack in mine is different. You can see the color discoloration between the difference in color, really. Uh, but you can do whatever you like, doesn't really matter. Um, I just prefer the batteries because I tend to have the rechargeable ones, so I need a rechargeable battery pack. But if you already have one, that's great. You need a 360 controller. I took out the vi vibrators for it. Um, I don't really need those, but you can actually control them. Um, so that's something you know you should look into. Um, what else? I have the Xbox 360 uh, receiver. You're gonna see that online on eBay. You're gonna see little USB cables with uh, just like sensors on the end. They say that you can control 360. They're usually imported from China. They're con they just don't function at all. Um, I went ahead and just got the, the actual one, the one that really uh, is the official Microsoft receiver. And you're also going to need the program X Pattern. It costs a few bucks, but it's definitely worth it. And of course, it doesn't only work with 360 controller. You can use a USB cable with a PS3 controller and use that. Um, you know, various things. We're just going to use 360 controller because it's very popular. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to launch XPatter, and you can see right there that it is searching for the controller, because it won't do anything until you have the controller. So we're going to go over to our receiver, we're going to press this button right here. Um, generally, this hasn't really helped at all, it's just always running, but I press it um, and every time it's worked. So here's our 360 controller, make sure you have enough power uh, for the controller to turn on. You're going to hold down the Xbox 360 controller and you will see that it automatically changes to this layout right here um, and from this point on it's very simple for you guys uh, you're going to go onto this new controller here click a new profile and so now here's your 360 controller and of course if you guys are looking this is very easy to do uh, you press the various buttons and it will show you that those buttons are being pressed that's on a different screen though so right now you have to add based on what type of input it is so right over here this is called a d-pad uh, sorry a trigger Sorry, whoa. This is buttons, this is D-pad, um, and then here's the trigger right back here. So, very simply, uh, we're going to go ahead and select, let's say, a D-pad, and click Enabled. So now it's telling you what to do. I'm going to go ahead and press, I'll show you guys, up, down, left, right. And so, Xbox 360 controllers have the, you know, the joint, just a combination of the two. So be sure, make sure you're careful with that. Anyway, uh, so that's been added, and we can go ahead and go into sticks, enable, and so right here, this is automatically added, and you can see how that's working over there. In the same way, you can add another one, and so when you have everything, uh, we can just press OK, and you will see the buttons that are being pressed. So here it is. So now this is the screen when you just use the ones that you used and you can see the different inputs now we have d-pad and what I called buttons earlier here is the stick so everything's good now what we're gonna do we have to assign each input the command really so for example let's say that uh, the stick right here is going to be my mouse so I can actually click on the top and here it is and here are your mouse controls. This is basically your entire keyboard and your mouse input. And we're going to go ahead and go to the up motion. So now if I go press up, there it is. Easily, you guys can immediately want to go download this program. Uh, I think Jonathan, the guy's name is Jonathan Firth who made it. You should check him out. So anyway, here it is. And input wise, you can see that my mouse is functioning solely based on this Xbox 360 controller. Uh, now what I've done is created a profile. You can save these profiles so you can load them up very easily next time around. You can, I'm going to click open all and just go down to PC and don't save. So here is, I guess I saved that, uh, well it's, I'm going to open up my layout too because this is my Xbox 360 controller. So I'm going to open up my layout and you can see how easy that was. You can do different layouts. So I have PC, but I can actually open up a game, like for example, Open BVE. Press Open, and so there it is. And this, that's for the game. You can easily uh, 
modify it for BF3 or MW3 or whatever you guys play. So I'm controlling everything. I got my volume. Um, right click, left click. Everything's very simple and it's all mapped to this Xbox 60 controller. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, for those who don't believe that it's actually working, I'm just put it up here. For those who don't believe it's actually working from my controller, you can see that with my finger up here that both my hands are operating and my mouse is not moving at all. So that's that. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you guys do it with the Xbox 360 controller. Slar here from Pixtuts. Please visit my website, codefeedom.com. Slar from Pixtuts. Peace out, guys.